I'm RMAC Commissioner Chris Graham. Our 15 member institutions continue to bring you free RMAC Network webcasts. Our goal is to deliver quality video to promote the performances and achievements of our student athletes. The promotion, production, and delivery of these events requires funding. While regular season webcasting remains free, beginning this year, our league shall charge a nominal fee for viewers of our championships and tournaments. Please follow the information below, including Huddle and RMAC Network contacts should you need any assistance in the postseason. Thank you for supporting the RMAC Network. We welcome you in to Colorado Springs, Colorado for the RMAC opener in Colorado Springs. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Brian Geenan. As we welcome you into Mountain Lion Stadium as the University of Colorado, Colorado Springs Mountain Lions face off with the Regis University Rangers. The Rangers this season off to a hot start. They're five and one, excuse me, six and one this season, and they are ranked 10th in the country as they travel to Colorado Springs for this Sunday afternoon matchup. Game was moved up a little bit with storms moving into the area later tonight, but we have an excellent fixture for you today of college lacrosse. Once again, thank you for joining us here at Mountain Lion Stadium. We are just a moment or so away from getting this game underway as the University of Colorado, Colorado Springs Mountain Lions will be in their home white uniforms and the visiting Rangers will be in the blue. At the faceoff, we are just about ready to get things underway. It'll be number 11 for Regis, that's Megan Bunker. And for the Mountain Lions, looks like number 27, Sydney Ann Muller. 15 minutes on the clock, and we are just getting things set here at the face-off dot. These two teams have met 10 times, and it has been a Ranger sweep. 10 wins for the visitors. They have not lost an away game in some time. They had a big win earlier this week they faced off with number 12 University of Indianapolis a historic program in the women's lacrosse game they were ranked 12th as Regis picked up a big win in that matchup Regis can't quite keep that in so an early turnover from the visitors and the Mount Lions on the clear up the field goes Jesse Ackerman Ackerman is going to Wait for it, now switches it to Patrick. Patrick dodges, goes to the right, trying to find something, gets a pass off, scooped up in the middle, trying to find some space, and the ball pops out once again. Scooped up by, that'll be 11, Megan Bunker. In net for the visitors, it'll be number 24, that's Elizabeth Myatt, a senior goalkeeper out of Frankfurt, Illinois. In the cage for the Mountain Lions, It'll be Madison McGriff, the redshirt senior goalkeeper out of Lakewood, Colorado, with a 51.6% save percentage on the season. She will certainly be called into action as Regis has put a lot of balls in the back of the net in this season. Working it around, Regis trying to find some opening. Slowing it down goes Gabby Rotherman. Round to the top for Ferguson and back for Bunker. Bunker dodges, goes right, trying to get a shot off high, and it'll be scooped up in the crease. A nice save made by McGriff. McGriff earlier this season picked up a RMAC Defensive Player of the Week on March 6th for 13 saves and six ground balls against Concordia St. Paul as the Mount Lions will work it around on offense now. Erica 
Rivera, the junior midfielder, with it now. Sarah Urbanic now with it. Urbanic working against Bunker. Urbanic goes left, trying to get a shot off. She's going to have one. Save made, and it'll be scooped up. 60 on the shot clock. Scooped up. Brielle Fannin now works it around for Urbanic once again. Rivera looking to set a screen here maybe as the Rangers now double. Switch it around, go to the Mountain Lions. Right in front of the net, and that's a goal. Mountain Lions strike first as Emma Grace Martin picks up her ninth goal this season. She's got 12 points on the year. So some nice defensive work from the Mountain Lions, and they have an early lead in this one. The assist will go to Brielle Fannin, who made a great pass after Urbanic was doubled at the top. Ranger defense having a word here, and we will get things back underway in just a moment. For Fannin, she picks up her 13th point. That's her eighth assist on the season. That is a team high for the Mountain Lions. Patrick and Urbanic at the top of the points category, 18 and 15 respectively, as Bunker and Sydney Ann Muller will face off once again. Bunker won that first draw. A junior midi out of Maryland played high school ball at Indian Creek. She's got a team high 18 ground balls in this season, but it's the Mountain Lions coming up with that one. Patrick works it around. Now for Fannin. Rangers swinging it around. Nice dodge made shot. That one's just a little high. Mountain Lions with plenty of space there. Kelly Cudahy had the shot. Mountain Lions working quickly, and it'll be a free position attempt for the team in white. Brielle Fannin with a chance to pick up her second point. We'll see what she decides to do here. The sophomore attacker will face off with Myatt straight ahead. Mays and Skillings will provide the defensive work here for the Rangers. Mays to the left of Fannin, Skillings to the right. Sophomore will take on Myatt here. Fannin goes for goal. She's going to shoot, and that's another goal. So the Mountain Lions double up early on the free position attempt, and all their shots have pretty much found nylon as Fannin drops the cross. And the Mountain Lions off to a great start. They're up two to nothing. Bannon picks up her second point of this game. That's her sixth goal in this season. Mountain Lions with probably the start that Melissa Roush wanted in this one. Roush, the third-year head coach. This will be her 41st game coached. Fifth year with the program. She was hired as the head coach back in 2022. As the Mountain Lions once again... Get off the break. Working on the far side goes Ali Shell. Draws a foul. She's looking for a pass in the middle. Can't find it. Mountain Lions have never won a game against Regis. And the biggest, excuse me, the smallest deficit was eight goals. So the Mountain Lions have a chance to make a little program history. Working in on net. Draws a big check. And we will get a big foul there as I believe that was Mays. Excuse me, that's Tara Skillings with the hard foul on Emma Grace Martin. So Emma Grace Martin, the first year attacker out of right here in Colorado Springs with a free position attempt. Dodges, goes left. It'll be a false start and a reshoot.
Emma Grace Martin going to go for goal here as she did on that first one. As we have a violation, so we will wait a second to see what that is. Our side official sends the call up to the box. Still with the free position attempt is the first year attacker. Decides to dump it off. Mountain Lions looking inside. They're going to be throw that one away and a turnover for Regis. Regis with just one shot, none on goal in this game. Mountain Lions have picked up four ground balls. And they have won a majority of the draws as they lead in that category. We're just able to get it down to the other side with 10 minutes remaining here in the first quarter. Ball loose, scooped up, save made. McGriff had to do a job there. Ball loose, battle for it. Scooped up eventually by Mountain Lion, now loses it, but will get the foul. Megan Weiss, the junior midfielder out of Centennial, Colorado, picks up her seventh ground ball. And now Cossack will drive into the offensive area. Gets through a couple of Rangers there, does Cossack. Mountain Lions happy to work it around here as it goes for Cudahy. Cudahy working against Bunker. Picks up the screen, now slows it down. Cudahy spins, trying to work. Now dumps it off for Fannin. Fannin loses it. Tried to get a pass off and a nice cross work there as Number 16, Tara Skillings, makes up for her earlier mistake. That lines with those two free position attempts, one caused by Skillings. They've converted on one of those as Fannin made this a 2 nothing ball game. Regis happy to work it around here. They're going to go towards net, dumped it off. That goes through the cross, and the Mountain Lions are going to pick it up. Catherine Kosick able to find an open, I believe that's Weiss streaking up the sideline. Weiss has Patrick in support to her left. Weiss is going to dump it off now. Patrick dodges, goes right, now slows it down. Casey good with it. Now to the top for Cudahy. Cudahy's got a little bit of space, dumps it off now instead for Ava Goodnature. Goodnature trying to find an opening, goes right, keeps it, now dumps it off. And we will get another free position attempt as Ali Shell, the sophomore attacker, will get an opportunity. Ali Shell with two goals, two assists out of Gilbertville, Pennsylvania, will go against Myatt here. Trying to make it three to nothing. Shell waiting for the whistle. And we've got it. Shell in on net. Goes high, gets blocked, and a pile up. And Shell goes into the crease. So a turnover for the Mountain Lions. Some nice work between the sticks for Elizabeth Myatt. Excuse me, that's, yes, Elizabeth Myatt. A senior out of Frankfurt, Illinois, played high school ball at Lincoln Way East. Has started in five of six games this year. This will be her sixth start. Myatt has a 41% save percentage with 35 saves and 60, excuse me, 51 goals against. This Regis team puts up impressive numbers. So Myatt has had a lot to do, excuse me, not a lot to do defensively. Mountain Lions hounding, here goes Bunker. We'll slow it down, go outside for Schiffer. Schiffer goes right, dumps it off. Ball is loose, and it's scooped up once again by the Mountain Lions. 
Back in defense, I believe that's Jesse Ackerman who was able to pick up that ground ball. It was, and now all the way up for Patrick. Patrick draws two, dumps it off to a teammate. Weiss now slows it down for Fannin. Fannin across for Julia Patrick. Spinning, half spin, shot in the dirt. Still loose a little bit. Now into the cross of Maya. Those shots that are spiked in front of the netminders are just so tricky to keep a stick on. Maya did excellent work to make that save. That's her second today. Clear attempt is good, so Regis with a full minute on the shot clock. They'll work it around at the X, unguarded. McGriff's gonna have to make a save off the iron. So the shot clock will reset as Regis will work it around again. Rutherman and Schalmoser, now it's switched across the field. Working in on net, Mountain Lions doing a good job defending. Bunker from the top, dumps it off, lost somewhere in the middle. Mountain Lions have been playing excellent as Avery Beck Davis, the senior defender, is able to pick that one up. She'll find a white jersey on the far side as Ackerman trying to clear. She's got a pass in the middle, decides to swing it back around. Regis with a good bit of pressure here, but the clear attempt will be good for the Mountain Lions. Kosick into the offensive zone, and now Mountain Lions will work it around here. Sellers, looks like that's Weiss with it now. Good nature and Patrick to the left. She'll pick up two screens now. Weiss decides not to use it, goes to the right, has to dump it off. Fannin being hounded here by Tara Skillings gets away. Weiss grabs it, poked in, oh, off the iron. And scooped up and cleared by Mays. Mountain line so close once again as that one made some sound off the iron on the side. Are you just working quickly, looking for a pass into the middle? Now it's slowed. Three and a half minutes left. Regis finds a pass inside, bounce goal. Rangers took about 11 and a half minutes, but they are able to get on the board here in the first quarter. As Maggie Schipfer is able to turn that one goalward. So the first points of the game for Regis as they are able to cut the lead in half. Shipfer out of Colorado Springs, Colorado, picks up her 20th point this season. That's her 15th goal. As we will see who they give the assist to there. I believe it was number seven, Gabby Rothermond. In which case, that would be her 18th assist this season and a team high. So Regis cuts the lead in half, and they get it back with a chance to tie. Number 25, Lauren Sheets, the sophomore attacker. Now works it around at the top. Going in on net, shot low, finds the back of the net. And that'll be a goal for Regis. Throwing the stick down goes number 26, Lily Ferguson. And Regis has tied it up in a hurry. Goal by number 26, Lily Ferguson. Those goals just 29 seconds apart. As first it was Shipfer assisted by Rotherman. And now Ferguson ties it up.
Ferguson with her 15th goal this season. She's got 17 points. As once again, it'll be Sydney Ann Muller and Megan Bunker at the faceoff dot. After the Mountain Lions had the lead for some time, it gets cut down in about 29, 30 seconds. And the RMAC home opener for the Mountain Lions is all square at two. At the faceoff, scooped up by Bunker. Regis has a chance to take the lead here. That is what the number 10 team in the nation can do as they have cut through this lead in a matter of seconds. The top for Schiffer. Schiffer dodges, goes left. Not going to be able to get a shot off. Takes a tumble. Well, I don't think that was much of a foul there. But either way, our referees this afternoon disagree. And it'll be a free position attempt here for Schiffer. Maggie Schiffer, sophomore midi from right here in Colorado Springs with a chance to give Regis the lead. She's got it. And she does. But in too close, into the circle as McGriff escapes a third goal. So Schiffer got too close to the goalkeeper, got into the crease, and the goal is nullified. So still square at two with two to play. Mountain Lions with a careless turnover. Regis streaking towards the net. Don't have numbers, so I believe they will slow it down, and they will. Two minutes remaining in the first quarter. Back for Shipper, and now remaining. Ferguson. Around the horn goes Regis. Now for Sheets. Back at the X has been Gabby Rothermond, redshirt senior out of Dublin, Ohio. She works, finds a pass in front of the net. It's scooped up. Now it's lost. And McGriff is the one that comes up with it. Disperses out wide for number 15, Sarah Urbanic. Urbanic draws a pair of Rangers, now wants to take it herself. Slows it down behind the net for good. Patrick against Kosick now swings it around for Urbanic. Urbanic for good, good trying to find Patrick. Patrick can't scoop it up, it's still loose. Scooped up in front of the net, blocked on the way. It's a fight for it in the middle. Mountain Lions scoop it up. Patrick still got it, shoots, goal. What an individual effort from number four in white. The senior, Julia Patrick, with some great work under a minute as she picked up the ground ball and then fired it low and got the bounce past Myatt. What a job from Julia Patrick as she is able to keep the Mountain Lions in front now. So Patrick with the first points of this game, she's got a team high 19 on the season. That's her 15th goal in a Mountain Lion uniform in 2024. Bunker will now face off with Brielle Fannin at the face-off dot. Excuse me, that's Peyton Ross, I want to say, with the 26. It is. Bunker takes it easily. Bunker going to go all the way in on net. Receives a whack up high as she had her stick over her head. And we will get a yellow card or a mountain line. We'll see who that gets assessed to. Running off the field there goes, not quite sure. Looks like number one, it is Avery Beck Davis. So a free position attempt, and Bunker has the chance to tie it with 43 seconds to go. Oh 
have to imagine that Megan Bunker will certainly have a shot on net. She's got 10 goals this season. Chance for an 11th here against McGriff. It'll be outside, so they will slow it down. 40 seconds to work. Now Bunker dodges, dumps it off. Working it on net goes Murphy. Murphy's going to get it, and it bounces just over the right shoulder, and a goal is scored. So able to put one past McGriff. I believe that was Shea Murphy. So the sophomore Mitty is able to bag her 22nd goal this season. She's got a team high in points with 29 this year. She ties, I believe that's Bailey Truix with 22 goals for a team high as well. But either way, Regis able to bring things back to a deadlock. It'll be Ross and Bunker once again. Bunker has had her way in that face-off dot, right on that big mountain lion face. So Ross and Bunker will battle it out for, I want to say, just the second time. Flipped up, Ross able to get it to a teammate, and Urbanic comes up with it. 23 seconds, and we will get a green card. So a one-minute releasable for the visitors, assessed to Lily Ferguson. Green card, a somewhat new change to the game. That is just a one minute penalty. So the Mountain Lions will go a woman up here. Streaking in goes Urbanic. Urbanic's got Patrick to the left. Now slows it down, has Rivera behind, and now takes it. 10 seconds to work, Mountain Lions are gonna have to go quickly. Rivera loses it in the middle. Regis comes up with it, and this one will end the first quarter as the Mountain Lions started off with a two to nothing lead. They have now found themselves all square at three. We'll take a quick step back here from Colorado Springs as UCCS and Regis tied at three apiece.
All square at three as the Mountain Lions and Rangers have put on a great performance here in the first quarter. So we are a few seconds away from starting the second. Some first half stats for you as the Mountain Lions had seven shots and scored three as Fannin, Patrick, and Grace Martin all tacked on a goal. Fannin, the leading points getter, she tacked on an assist to Grace Martin's goal. For the visitors, it was Shipfer, Murphy, and Ferguson with the goals. Rotherman and Bunker assisted as it is all pretty much square in the ground ball category and saves from the netminders. Back into that faceoff dot goes Sydney Ann Muller. She will face off with Bunker once again. See some stats there from that first half of play as we are just about ready here in the second quarter. Trying to pick up a seventh win this season is head coach Sarah Kellner for the Rangers in her 18th season. This is her 270th game of lacrosse coached for the Rangers. She is 196 and 73 all time. Five time RMAC Coach of the Year. She has won six conference tournament championships. She's been in the NCAA tournament six times with two semifinal appearances. And Kellner has not had a losing record since 2010. Kellner, assisted by Petrarca and Peoples, has the Rangers off to a great start. They're 10 in the country. Mountain Lions trying to cause a bit of trouble here. Patrick in on net, receives a little whack, goes lefty, back of the net, goal. So 22 seconds into the second quarter, and the Mountain Lions regain their lead as Patrick drops the cross, gets it back, and tacks on a goal. Patrick with her second goal in this game, as the penalty was still in effect. So a woman up was the Mountain Lions, and they are able to capitalize as Patrick pours in her 16th goal of the season. Mountain Lions have done a good job capitalizing on their opportunities. They did miss one free position attempt. They scored on the other. And now with the green card assessed just a little bit ago to, I want to say it was Ferguson, Mountain Lions able to capitalize. Bunker gets it here. Bunker now working right to left. Excuse me, Regis behind the net. Nice work, that pass is gonna be a little high for Bunker. She's got time and now gives it off for Ferguson. Ferguson around for Becky Getch. Now leaves it for 19. Murphy trying to get free, has to go around. It'll come to Noemi Ramirez. Ferguson now has to control it with a minute left on the shot clock. Ferguson to the top four Sheets. Sheets dumps it off. Urbanic playing defensively against Bunker. Now it's dumped off. Shipfer trying to get around and back of the net and a goal for number 10. Maggie Shipfer with some fancy footwork gets past a pair of mountain lines and throws one past the cross of McGriff. Tie game once again. So Rangers were able to tie it at two. Mountain Lions took a lead three to two. It was tied again at threes. Took the lead at four and now tied at four. So Regis with yet to lead in this contest, but they have kept the pressure on as Shipfer bags her 16th goal this season, her second of the game. Shipfer had to do a little bit of work to get past 
Catherine Kosick was able to dodge, get around, and fire one over the left shoulder of McGriff. Bunker with some nice work. Urbanic trying to intercept it. Some nice passing from the Rangers. They get it into the offensive area, and we'll get a chance to lead for the first time. Ramirez behind the net. All the way to around now for Getch. Getch, the junior midi out of Maple Grove, Minnesota, will work against Rivera. Getch dodges, goes left, fires low, save made. Nice work from Ferguson to keep it alive for the Rangers. McGriff grabs a save there. Getch wants it again against, now she'll dump it off for Schiffer. Schiffer dodges, goes left, goes right, shot, goal. Maggie Schiffer can do no wrong as she slides another one past the Mountain Lion netminder. They have the lead for the first time today. So Schiffer bags her 17th goal, three here today, a hat trick for the sophomore. Sophomore attended the Classical Academy right here in Colorado Springs. Went to Regis for college ball and has three in her hometown. Bunker has had all of the draw opportunities for the visitor, Ross and Sydney Ann Miller. Moeller, excuse me, have split the duties. And Bunker, once again, has done excellent. Dumped off for Ramirez. Behind the net, Mountain Lions not playing good defensively. Into the back of the net on the outside, and McGriff able to scoop it up. Same week that McGriff won that defensive player of the week, Patrick won it offensively for the Mountain Lions. And his Mountain Lions are gonna have to work quickly to get this clear off. This one's fired into the offensive zone well over the head of Ali Shell and a turnover for the Mountain Lions. Patrick won offensive player of the week that same week of March 6th. In two games, she had three goals, one assist, five shots on goal, and one ground ball, draw control, and caused turnover, but had the game winner in that contest as well. Mountain Lions trying to start off their season opener with a what would be a historic win against Regis. Regis with two ranked wins already this season. Ferguson working here against Knutson. Knutson, the defender out of Savage, Minnesota. The sophomores had a great season so far. This one's poked away, and I do not agree with that one, as I thought Kelly Cudahy made a great defensive work. Still on the outside circle, so it'll be a tough attempt. Regis trying to find something, poked away. Mountain Lions come up with it. Lines were able to get a stick on the pass as working all the way herself goes Catherine Kosick. Kosick dumps it off now for Fannin. Cudahy working here, dumps it behind the net for Fannin. Fannin looking inside, trying to find a pass. Gets all the way through for Patrick. Patrick dodges, some nice footwork, goes right, slowed down by a second ranger in support. We've played five minutes here in this first quarter. Mountain Lions now trail five to four with about 40 seconds to try and tie it here. Save made in front of the net, so a shot clock reset for the Mountain Lions. Cudahy wants it here. Now they'll go around the horn. Sellers around the way for 
Peyton Ross. Ross loses it, but draws a foul, will restart play. 30 seconds to shoot, spinning, going towards the net, dumps it off, Mountain Lion shot, and receiving a big whack in front of the net was Patrick, but nothing doing says our officials in stripes. So the Rangers streaking down the other side. Regis goes behind the net, now working it around again. Gets around for Cossack. Cossack dodges, goes right, has to slow it down. Now for Spath. Spath back for Ferguson. And Getch. Getch wants to take it. Dodges, goes left, trying to slide a shot, can't get it off. Dumps it off now for Cossack. Cossack driving in, save made. Popped up into the air, slapped away, and Regis going to come up with that one. Murphy with it at the X. Now around for Spath. And Ferguson. Plenty of time for a shot here. Ferguson works left, dumps it off. Trying to find a pass inside, missed it. Mountain Lions, and poked it into their own net. Layla Alm, the first year with the unfortunate error as she did the right thing, trying to get it into the crease where only McGriff can pick it up, but slapped it between the legs. And it'll be a goal for Regis. They've got a lead of two. So an own goal puts Regis up two. They have now completely made up the ground and lead in this one. We'll see how that goal gets officially marked. It'll be a goal for Lauren Sheets. As Sheets, I believe, would have been the closest to that one. So Sheets picks up her 10th goal this season. She has 10 points, so all goals for number three. The Lakeville, Minnesota sophomore not necessarily makes it a 6-4 game, but will on the score sheet. Spinning, goes bunker, dumps it off for Ramirez. Ramirez behind the net. Are you just looking for a pass? Can't find one inside. Some new names. Evie Tanella. Spinning, goes right, throws one low. That one's out wide. Rotherman will retrieve it. Evie Tanella, the first-year midi out of Castle Rock, Colorado, had that shot. McGriff. Big save there, able to scoop it up. McGriff forced to retreat now by Tanella. Beck Davis has it go through the cross, able to scoop it up though. Beck Davis working through several Rangers and will draw a green card to number 10, Maggie Shipfer. So a woman up opportunity for the Mountain Lions. Green card has been assessed to number 10 of the Rangers, Maggie One penalty minute on the clock. The Mountain Lions will have a chance to bring it within one here offensively. And an unforced error there as Megan Weiss has it come out of the net. Cudahy will certainly burn this penalty here. Has Tanella on the back side now, they will slow it down. No need for the Rangers to give themselves any more grief. They will have about 40 seconds to shoot after Shipfer is released. Now the Mountain Lions will put a little pressure on as this penalty drips down to 15 seconds. Outline's exerting a little bit of pressure here. 10 seconds on the penalty. Ferguson obliges and slows it down. 
So Schiffer is released. Into the offensive area goes Kosick. Kosick dodges, goes left. She's going to not have a shot. Now spins around. And it bounces in. The save made by McGriff. And the backspin off of the net. And the ball slowly rolls across the line. So two just unfortunate errors. As first it was Alm who poked it into the own net. And now McGriff comes up with a huge save and has it spin back into her own net. We'll take a quick step back with a timeout. Six minutes here in the first half. Regis leads it 7-4. to four. Back in at sunny Colorado Springs here at Mountain Lion Stadium. My name is Brian Geenan. Thank you for joining us for this afternoon of NCAA Women's College Lacrosse as the Regis Rangers lead this contest 7 to 4 over the home team University of Colorado Colorado Springs Mountain Lions. Bunker will face off with Number 27 for the Mountain Lions, Sydney Ann Muller back in again. And Bunker, as she's done a couple of times today, gets the draw control. Rangers working behind the net now. All the way around, we'll see some new names. Lexi Springman in there. Tanella has it here. And now for Spaith. Rangers working it around the net. Looking inside all the way across for Spaith. Spaith will take on Beck Davis. Dumps it off. In on net. That one just wide of the goal. And scooped up here now by number four. That's Justine Spar. Junior midi out of Utah. As lost in the middle. Beck Davis comes up with it. Mountain Lions are 2-3 and three this season, looking to pick up their first win of the conference season. They've played all of their games right here as we are under five minutes here in the first half. Rangers have two ranked wins. They lost earlier this week. They were ranked fifth. As Patrick goes in on net, she fires that one in. That's a goal. Julia Patrick coming up big once again as the senior picks up a hat trick. UC goal by number four, Julia Patrick. Out of the breaks, the Mountain Lions have done excellent as the last two breaks for end of the first quarter and now that timeout, the Mountain Lions come up with goals on both of those and they cut it down to just two. Julia Patrick picks up a hat trick. 
That's her 17th goal on the season. She and Shipfer are tied with three points apiece. Bunker with that slightly awkward stance, that left leg way back. It has worked like a charm for Bunker today. As the announcer's jinx proves itself real once again, Mount Lions have it with four and a half to play. Rivera, Emma Grace Martin, Urbanic, Fannin, Patrick all in offensively for the Mountain Lions. As is, I believe that's Chloe Courier. Urbanic working to the left, has it poked out by Schiffer. Behind the net, Schiffer comes up with it. Maggie Schiffer's only blemish in this game has been a green card. The Mountain Lions were able to tack on a goal, but with a hat trick, Schiffer has been fantastic, and now an unforced, unforced air, and the Mountain Lions have it back. Rotherman couldn't handle that pass as Kendra Knutson able to scoop up her 12th ground ball of the season. Mountain Lions will have to work quickly if they want to get this clear off. They're going to have to fire one into the offensive area. Mountain Lions working very slowly here. Now a pass and Urbanic able to come up with it. Urbanic finds a little bit of green grass, finds a pass. Mountain Lion pass goes just wide of Sellers cross. I believe a penalty was called before that. It was. So it'll be a violation on the Rangers. And Emma Grace Martin with her second free position attempt of the game. It was too far out, so she will just slow it down. 40 on the shot clock. Rivera works it around. Fannin. Fannin wants to take it. Now dumps it off again. Emma Grace Martin working in on net. Finds the back of the net, and the Mountain Lions have it within one. Couple of dabs there. From Emma Grace Martin, dab all you want. That's a beautiful goal from the first year attacker. So 10 goals on the season for Emma Grace Martin. That marks her second of the game. As the Mount Lions have grabbed two quick goals. They were down 7-4, now down just one. Lions looked like they might have gotten down on themselves. They certainly had a chance with an own goal and a backspin off the save of McGriff. Gave Regis, I don't want to say two free goals, but certainly two on the cheaper side. But now Mountain Lions cut it down to one. Big whack there, a pile up, nothing called. And Rivera comes out the victor from that faceoff. Rivera working against Spar, and now can find Patrick. Mountain Lions have a chance to tie as we have two minutes to go before halftime. Mountain Lions have played excellent lacrosse here in this one as Urbanic runs through a Ranger, dumps it off for Patrick, and the Mountain Lions once again with a chance to tie. Patrick with a chance to tack on her fourth goal. The senior can come up huge here before the half. Patrick against Myatt. And Myatt comes up the victor there. Great save there as Elizabeth Myatt able to grab her fifth save as Patrick couldn't find the net. 
Rangers working quickly. That one spiked in front of the net. Able to be corralled by Rotherman. One and a half to play in the first. About a 20 second disparity between shot and game clock. So the Rangers will not have the last shot, but they will have a chance. Looking inside is Spar. Dumps it behind the net now for Rotherman. Rangers working around the horn. That's Lexi Springman. Springman takes it herself. And a free position attempt there. As jumping in the way was Kendrick Knutson. So it'll be a free position attempt for Lexi Springman. Springman with just one goal. First year out of Portage, Michigan, has a chance to give her team the two-goal lead. Springman and McGriff. Long shot out, and that one goes left of the goal. Springman took one step and fired it. And McGriff ultimately unbothered. Inside, trying to scoop it up, and the Mountain Lions will have a chance with the last shot. Poked away by Schipfer as she poked it out of the cross of Rivera, but foul is called. Mountain Lions have 30 seconds to go in the half. Shot clock pretty much off. 20 seconds. Beck Davis now working it around for Patrick. Patrick is certainly gonna take this one all the way. Patrick, chance to tie, dumps it off, and the Mountain Lions can't quite corral it. And that will end the first half as the Mountain Lions went down by three, but have battled back. And they are down by just a goal with 30 minutes left to play. We will take a quick step back here from Colorado Springs, about a 10 minute halftime. And we will return with more college lacrosse here from Mountain Lions Stadium. I've always been motivated to make a positive change. Whether it was becoming the first in my family to attend college or taking care of the next generation as a nurse. When I chose UCCS, I didn't just pick a school. I chose a like-minded community hungry to make a difference with me. Now living my dream, working at Children's Hospital, I can say that with UCCS, it wasn't a matter of if I'd succeed, it was a matter of when. The mountain lion is one of the strongest members of the feline family. The average mountain lion lives five times a day and consumes up to three times its weight in protein. It shares many characteristics with its domestic counterparts, the good and the bad. UCCS, find your inner mountain lion. The legacy began in 1973. That was the year NCAA Division II was born. And since the very first day, our division has shaped generations of student athletes with a true sense of academics, athletics, and community. That is five decades of graduations, championships, teamwork, and personal development. 50 years of shaping student athletes into world-class leaders. NCAA Division II, our division, our legacy. Play with great love, they play with great passion, Dad. Let it rip, let it rip, let it rip. We do it for one another, together. Together, 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 together,
The mountain lion can travel up to 370 miles. Located primarily in North America, these majestic creatures can traverse a large variety of terrain. There are, of course, some natural barriers. UCCS, find your inner mountain lion. Necessity is the mother of invention, but innovation as a whole, that's what drives disruption. And that's what drove UCCS and me to create the Bachelor of Innovation, the only degree of its kind in the world that takes students from the classroom to real scenarios that have real impact. With the Bachelor of Innovation serving students across 22 majors, I can say that with the support of UCCS, it wasn't a matter of if we'd succeed. It was a matter of when. Pikes Peak getting a light dusting here at Mountain Lion Stadium as we are just a few moments away from starting the second half. Regis Rangers traveled down for this matchup to Colorado Springs, normally sunny, and we are having some clouds roll in here in the second half. The Mountain Lions have put up one of their better performances against Regis so far as they are just a goal down Regis leads at 7-6. First half stats for you. Regis led the shots category 17-12. Ground balls 19-15 in favor of the Rangers. Face-offs certainly in favor of the visitors as they lead that one 9-6. You can see some of the stats there. Turnovers pretty all square. Clears, the Mountain Lions have had a few mistakes, but six saves from McGriff, four from Myatt. 
And this game is set to be a close one here down the stretch. Mountain Lions and Rangers, second half action getting underway right now. Bunker wins it. And it'll be the Rangers first. Schipfer going towards goal. They're going to have a shot. McGriff can't quite keep it out. And Megan Bunker tacks on her first goal today. Schipfer with a beautiful pass. She will certainly pick up a fourth point for that assist. And that one scored by Bunker. She's got two points today, a goal and an assist. So only 11 seconds for the Rangers to pick up another goal. They lead it 8-6 to six now. In that first half, Julia Patrick had a hat trick, three goals, no assists. Grace Martin with two goals. Fannin had a goal and an assist as well. As Bunker will get the credit, I thought it was a nice move there by Moeller. But it'll go the other way with Bunker. Now up for Getch. Getch going to work quickly again here against Beck Davis. Now slows it down for Kosick. Kosick dumps it in. Shipper save made. McGriff has had a couple of beautiful saves between the irons. Another one there. Seven saves made for McGriff. Eight goals against. So just under 50% save percentage. This season she's at 51.5%. So just about on that season average. McGriff has been excellent for the Mountain Lions in her career. Mountain Lions were, came into this one with a two and three record. Urbanix spins it around, can't quite connect on the pass and it'll go the other way. Mountain Lions had Fannin streaking to the net but couldn't quite corral it. Clear is on for the visitors. They were perfect on the clear in the first half. They are still perfect now. Kossip, excuse me, Kossik, Getch, Ramirez, up to the top here for Emily Spath. Kossik dodges, goes left, gets a hack, no foul, and now a late one. That was well after the play, but either way, it'll be a free position attempt. We'll see if it's further out, and it will be, so now it'll be moved up for Kosick. Officials getting things in order. I'm not sure who's going to take it. It looks like Getch will have the shot against McGriff. Getch has it here. Going as a lefty, that one fired and finds its way through. Regis with two goals here in the second half. They have a three goal advantage. That one turned into the back of the net by number 13, Becky Getch. Junior Mitty out of Maple Grove, Minnesota is able to score her first goal today. Getch in this sh somewhat short season has seven goals now and eight points. So Regis picks up two goals early as Bunker has won both of the draw controls to start the second half of play. as she will win a third. Can make a huge difference when your, we'll call it face-off specialist is able to win as many as Bunker does. 
Not technically a face-off specialist, but positionally, I guess. But Bunker, the midi, has won a lot of possessions for her team today. Spaeth with it now, working against Beck Davis. Dodges, goes right, shot low, save made. An easy one at the end of the day for McGriff. And a dangerous pass gets by Beck Davis. That pass low at the feet of the senior. And Regis will keep it with a full 90. Bunker trying to get free, now dumps it off. Gets the goal scorer, dodges, trying to get around Naomi Brahm. Bram, excuse me. Kosick trying to find a pass, receives a check in the side. Thought maybe he could have gotten a card there as well. As a check in the side from Ackerman as Kosick was waiting to receive that pass. Couple of directions being called out. It'll just be a free position attempt. So no penalty there. Uh, at least no card. But Kosick with a chance to give her team the four goal advantage. Kosick and McGriff goes right, scores. A big play made there as Kosick able to get one pass, throws the stick down. And a wonderful, wonderful piece of offense off of the free position attempt. Ten to six here at Mountain Lion Stadium. Rangers have opened up, opened this game up a bit here in the second. They've got three goals unanswered. Mountain Lion scored two unanswered to end the half. But it has been Megan Bunker at the faceoff dot. As that one scored by Kosick. The book has it down as a goal for Schalmoser. Madeline Schalmoser will get the credit. That would be her fourth goal. We'll see if that remains. I thought it was number nine who turned that one in. It was, excuse me, I got my teams mixed up there. Madeline Schalmoser, excuse me, the junior midi out of Downers Grove, Illinois. Was looking at the wrong team there. Schalmoser with two goals today. Working around the net, Rangers trying to tack on one quickly. The Mountain Lions will have a chance at some offense here. Getting it hacked out of the stick is Jesse Ackerman. Will retain possession for the Mountain Lions. Rangers have been all over the Mountain Lions. They look like a totally different team here as I don't think the Mountain Lions have even gotten it into the offensive area. They don't have a shot, certainly. And the defense struggling to clear once again. Head coach Roush clearly a little frustrated. Her team was 11 of 13 in the first half on clears. Now can't seem to get out of their own way. By the way, Shipfer picks up a third ground ball, and Regis will have a chance to tack on another goal. Getch dodges, goes left. Wanted to shoot. Now we'll swing it around for Tanella. Back for Spar. Spar wants to take it. Pass, dished. Schaefer off. Uh, Might have been the iron. It could have been from McGriff. That's some nice work. As number 18, Abby May, is able to scoop that one up. Wind picking up a little bit here in the second half. Regis leads it by four with 40 seconds to shoot on the shot clock. 
Spar. Now to the top for Tanella and around for Mace. Excuse me, that's Murphy who loses it. And Rivera scoops it up for the time being. She's being hounded by a couple of Rangers. Regis has really put the pressure on this back line as they try to clear. As going into the offensive area goes Naomi Bram and now finds Fannin. Bram with some good work there, the grad student defender. Mount Lions able to scoop up an errant pass, working in on net, shot, save made, Myatt with an athletic move to keep that one out of the net. Tanella works it into the offensive zone quickly. Shipper has it now. Eight minutes remain here in the third quarter. Wind certainly picking up here as the sun has all but disappeared from Mountain Lion Stadium. As I mentioned, this game originally set for later in the afternoon got moved up as Regis scores another. Bridget Get, excuse me, Becky Getch will get the credit with that goal. And four unanswered for Regis and a timeout taken by Melissa Rausch. We will take a quick step back here at Mountain Line Stadium. Regis leads this one 11 to 6. Here in at Mountain Lion Stadium, as we get a beautiful view of our venue for today's game. Excellent work by our wonderful camera crew here at University of Colorado, Colorado Springs. Seven and 40 seconds remaining in the third. Regis has opened up by quite a few here in this second. It was seven to six at the halftime break. And now seven minutes into this one, four unanswered for the team in blue. Bunker was not out there for the faceoff that time. It was number 17, Lexi Springman, who got the draw opportunity. It looks like Bunker awaits on the bench. So we might see some new names here 
or Regis. Regis's only loss came on March 16th against number nine Maryville University. They lost that one by quite a few, six to 18. Mountain Lions were set to play Maryville. That game got canceled as some dangerous weather conditions saw Colorado Springs get a few feet of snow. Regis working at around 45 to shoot. Tanella working at the top. Dodges, receives a nice little push, throws a shot wide and takes a big spill. As Tanella was working against Killy Cudahy. Now behind the net goes Rotherman. Tanella takes another spill on that shot, but McGriff keeps it in the cross. So McGriff picks up just her, excuse me, that's her 10th save today. She's made four in the second half. It hasn't felt like it with four goals scored as well. But 10 shots for the Rangers. They have sniped all over the goal today. Trying to find a pass, dumps it off here for good nature. Good nature will pull it out. Good nature and Cudahy at the top. Good nature spins off the off the pick and unable to scoop it up. So it'll go the other way with number two. That's Caitlin Lazaro, junior defender out of Gilroy, California. Works it all the way in to the other side. Shipfer. Now around the horn for Truix. Finds its way to Getch and now Rothermond. Under five minutes to go. Rothermond trying to find a pass inside. Now we'll slow it down at the X. Round for Schipfer. Schipfer with a dodge, goes right. Gonna have a shot here, goes high, back of the net goal. Five straight goals for Regis, and they have a 12-6 lead. Mountain Lions scored three in the first and three in the second, and have not been able to find the back of the net 11 minutes into the second half. Once again, Lexi Springman into the face-off dot. She will face off with Peyton Ross. It has mostly been Sydney Ann Muller and Megan Bunker at that face-off dot, so a chance for some new names to win some draw controls. Bunker awaits on the sideline, and a nice win there by Springman. Regis is going to go straight to the net here. Back of the net goal. Regis cannot be stopped here as they have blown this game wide open. They now lead by seven. Mountain Lions with just one shot as the defense talks it over here. And certainly you can't point to any one person as Regis has just been able to find every angle today. Whatever adjustments that Sarah Kellner made at halftime are working perfectly as they have scored six unanswered. Springman and Ross chasing it down. Ross turns on the burners, tries to slap it to a teammate, and the Mountain Lions will get the favor here.
Four minutes left here in the third quarter. That's a big <laughs> check there. Paris Skillings going through the back of Sarah Urbanic. Urbanic a little shaken up. She looks all right. Flips it around and we'll get it offensively. <laughs> Skillings right back to her. We will get a quick stoppage. That far side official thought maybe it was pulling out a card. Just a warning there. Skillings on Urbanic immediately after she picked up the ball. Mountain Lions will have it here. Erica Rivera working from the top. Now works it around for Ross. Ross, a sophomore midi out of Phoenix, Arizona, excuse me. This will be her sixth game played in. Dumps it off for Urbanic. Urbanic gets hacked right in the middle by three Rangers. And we'll get a chance to attack on the Mountain Lions' first goal in the second half. Urbanic, the first year midi out of Carlsbad, California. 15 points on the season, 12 goals with a chance for a 13th here. Has the shot, nice save made at the feet and dumped into the crease. Myatt comes up with a big save. Mountain Lions come up empty on that trip there. So three minutes in the third and Regis with a chance once again. Regis has really shown their prowess here. Work it around. Getch goes left. Now slows it down. Trying to look for a pass in the middle. And we'll get another violation. So it'll be another free position attempt. It'll be Becky Getch with the honors here. Getch with two goals, looking for a hat trick now. That one's save made, and it rolls into the back of the net. Just not the luck of the bounces for Madison McGriff. McGriff has made 10 saves today, but a couple of unfortunate bounces means Regis is up by eight. Those are the ones that are truly painful. Obviously, Regis will score goals. Six goals offensively is not going to be enough to hang with this Ranger squad. But McGriff has had two of those unfortunate rolls. Came up with a save both times and had it roll backwards into the net. Ross with a nice win. Ross will slow it down now and get it to Patrick. Patrick with three goals today. She's the leading points getter for the Mountain Lions. Only two other Mountain Lions with any points. It's Grace Martin and Fannin with two apiece. Our panic spin move, drops one Ranger, dumps it off. Patrick has to slow it down, finds a pass. Rivera can't get it through as Myatt ultimately truly unbothered by that one as it fell kindly. As Schipfer works all the way down. Two minutes to go. As Rotherman dumps it off. And McGriff's going to come up with that one. About a 10 second difference in a shot and game clock. Mountain Lions get it poked away as a nice defensive play made by number 28. That's Noemi Ramirez. Sophomore attacker out of Vernon Hills, Illinois. She's played at that X behind the net for most of the game today. She is now with it here. 
Regis can hold for a final shot. It looks like they will elect to do so unless they can find something they like here. All the way to the top for Schipfer. Controls it easily. Schipfer leads all scorers with four goals and five points. Finds a pass. And now Schipfer retrieves it once again. Schipfer works against Urbanic. Now dumps it off for Murphy. Murphy tries to find a pass in the middle. Mountain Lions able to scoop it away. 30 seconds to get a shot off. Streaking down the field goes Kendra Knutson. Looking around for a pass. Now finds it to Rivera. 15 seconds to work here. Mountain Lion's going to have to work quickly. Looking for Patrick in the middle. Connects the pass. Spins the other way. Takes a couple of hacks. All the way for Fannin. And it looks like a foul is called with five and a half seconds in this one. Patrick worked her way into the middle. Battling against multiple Rangers, and she will have a chance to cut the lead down a little bit with five seconds to go. Patrick going to shoot, and she scores. Julia Patrick with four goals. She now ties Schipfer for the most in this contest. But the Mountain Lions still down by a large amount here. They trail 14 to 7. Julia Patrick with her 18th goal this season. Gets the free position goal there against Myatt. Myatt with seven goals and seven saves. So a 50% day so far for the senior. About three seconds, so unlikely that either team will get a good look off of this faceoff. Bunker back out there now as we will get ready to send you into a little break here. Temperatures probably dropped about 10 degrees as we will enter the final quarter of play. The Mountain Lions able to get their first goal of the second half, but seven goals for Regis, and they have truly opened up a big lead here in this contest. We'll be right back in just a few minutes. It was all Regis in that third quarter. 
as they led 7-6 before the third quarter started. Now they lead 14-7. As we'll go through some stats here in the third quarter. Seven points scored, 13 shots, and three saves made for Myatt, as you see it on the screen there. Ground balls certainly in favor of Regis now. They had 11 to four lead in the third. Mountain Lions were able to score one goal from Julia Patrick on four shots. Four saves made for Madison McGriff. Underway for the final quarter. Mountain Lions have a mountain to climb as Good Nature getting hounded here off of the faceoff. Kosick working into the offensive zone. Hounded here by Springman. Kosick able to get it in to the area. Lazaro with the whack on Emma Grace Martin. So we will restart play once again. Mountain Lions working it around. Ross with it here at the top. Ross works to the right. Trying to find a pass, now hounded by Bunker. Bunker with the violation. The shot clock continues to run. And a pass from Ross goes over the head of Good Nature, who's able to keep it in play. 30 seconds to shoot for the Mountain Lions. It's Good Nature working here against Truex. Now around the back of the net goes Ross. Ross trying to put some moves on. Excuse me, I believe that's Chloe Courier. Now it's Ross. And the shot clock down to five seconds. Mountain Lions have to shoot. Gonna slap it in front of the net. And a nice job on the defensive side of things from Regis. Are you just working to clear here? The Mountain Lions just can't get any pressure when Regis tries to clear. They are 14 of 14 on the ride today. Ramirez goes behind the net for Sheets. And now Springman takes over. Which Ranger will make the run into the area? Ramirez to the top for Ferguson. Ferguson wants it, dumps it off here. Working in front of the net, shot low, back of the net, goal. Lauren Sheets able to turn one goalwards as she picks up, I believe, a second goal today. Second goal of the day for Lauren Sheets. She's got two points today. Sheets this season with 11 goals and no assists for the sophomore. Eight goal advantage, Mountain Lions unable to keep that little run going. As this second half has been all Regis. Bunker back in there. She will face Good Nature for the first time. You have a Good Nature, the junior Mitty out of Wayzata. That's Plymouth, Minnesota, as Regis will have it here. Ferguson at the top. Weiss, Ramirez, Courier, excuse me, looking at the wrong one. Springman now dumps it off for Getch. Getch hounded now, has to dump it off for Truix. Ferguson, and now Sheets. Getch wants it, looking inside, can't find anything. Works it around, that pass intercepted by Rivera. Erica Rivera has had a couple of nice plays on the defensive side of things. 
She's come up with quite a few ground balls today. She's got now, I believe, three ground balls and a cause turnover. So a nice little day there for Rivera. Who's had to do a lot of running as well. Urbanic working powerfully gets the stick knocked away. Ferguson with the wonderful stick work there. Going all the way to the net goes Shaw Moser. Now pulls it back. Messed up Shaw Moser. Shaw Moser had two goals today. She has six points on the season now with four goals to her name. Now works it for Bunker. Bunker working against Rivera. Spins, gets her way in front of the net. Goal scored. Megan Bunker goes top shelf past Megan, excuse me, Madison McGriff and Regis has a nine goal lead. Two goals for Megan Bunker, along with a handful of draw controls. You don't necessarily keep the draw controls stats, but if we would, that stat would be heavily in favor of number 11 in blue. Bunker will now get a chance against Emma Grace Martin. And the first year wins it for the home team, but now lost. Good nature, able to scoop it up. Kelly Cudahy with it here, has to go backwards. Now worked around for Cossack and up for number 28, that's Jesse Ackerman. Ross streaking to the net, pushed away by Ranger. Under 10 minutes to go in this one. Hotline's looking for just their second goal in the second half. Shot, save made. Myatt didn't have to go far for it. In that ready position, able to clear it pretty quickly. Rangers go right up the middle. Tanella loses it, and Cossacks. Unable to come up with it. Rangers trying to get in it. And it looked like one of the Rangers put their foot right on the ball. So Mount Lions will get the credit. Going the other way goes Weiss. Megan Weiss tries to connect a pass. Mount Lions turn it over. And we'll go back the other way. Certainly hasn't been too one-sided on the turnover category. The Mountain Lions have three more than their opponent. But the face-offs at draw control has been a big reason why this Regis team has a large advantage here in the final quarter of play. Spath, now Tanella. Tanella takes it herself, shot, that one's just wide. Becky Getch, plenty close, will get the ball behind the net. Minute on the shot clock, eight left to play. Getch works it around here for Spar. Spar works through a couple of mountain lions. Sheets and Tanella at the top. Looking inside for Ramirez. Ramirez spins, goes lefty, back of the net, spiking the cross. Noemi Ramirez, the sophomore attacker, able to pour in her first goal. Ramirez has had a lot of work to do. She's got two ground balls and two cause turnovers now. Gets her name on the scoring sheet. She's very pleased with that one as we will get a timeout here for the Mountain Lions. 
Regis leads by 10, so a running clock until the Mountain Lions can score. 7.40 to go. Regis leads this one by 10. Regis here in the second half. They have poured it on. They are up 10 to 1 in the second half. As the Mountain Lions are now down 10, so we will see a running clock. If the Mountain Lions can tack on a goal, it will slow things down a bit. Noemi Ramirez with the latest goal. That's her fifth of the season for the sophomore. Also getting on the score sheet is Evie Tanella, the first year midfielder, who's got her second assist this season. It was Bunker and Weiss, and Bunker wins it there. Up four sheets. Rotherman working quickly. Now takes a second to breathe. Sheets behind the net. Works it around for Rotherman. Getting a running start goes Tanella against Rivera. Now forced to slow it down. Ramirez wanted it. Now it'll go the other way. Around the horn for Rotherman. Dumps it in. Sheets in front of the net. Still has a chance. Battling with McGriff, but it'll be Mountain Lion ball here. Sheets lost it. McGriff put a little bit of pressure on. And we will go the other way with Jesse Ackerman. Streaking down the right side of the field. Gets past Ramirez with ease. And now we'll slow it down. Wind blowing north to south, right to left on RCV today. With Patrick and Fannin behind the net now. Trying to find a pass. And now connects with Rivera. And around for Ross. Ross working against Tanella. Ross goes right. Had to dump it off. Grace Martin dodges, goes left. 
Some good pressure defensively from Lazaro. It goes around the horn. In front of the net, trying to connect a pass. Back of the net, Patrick makes it a nine goal game. It has been Julia Patrick's day, certainly, as she puts that one in the back of the net for her fifth goal of the game. She leads everyone in this contest in the goals category. But multiple, multiple Rangers with goals. Only three Mountain Lions have found the back of the net, contributing to that big advantage. The clock will stop as Mountain Lions have made this a single digit lead. And it'll be Ashley Weiss and Megan Bunker once again. Flipped up, Bunker is going to win it. Streaking in, Mountain Lions have yet to pick her up. Now we'll go behind the net. Staying in bounds goes Rutherman. Dumps it in. Tanella low past McGriff. Able to put one in the back of the net. And that 10 goal lead restored for the Rangers. <laughs> Evie Tanella picks up her fourth goal this season. Assisted by, it'll be Gabby Rothermond, who's got a number of assists this season. She has now 18 assists. Excuse me, make that 19 this season. That last goal for the Mountain Lions was assisted by Brennan Kelly, sophomore midi out of Portland, Oregon. Kelly picks up her first point this season. As Regis gets it back, Bunker unstoppable again. Bunker had Tanella now behind the net and able to keep it again is Rotherman. Sheets with the bounce pass. It works itself all the way around for Springman. Tanella. And now Getch. Tanella fires a quick one over to Rotherman. Dodges, goes right, back of the net, throws the stick down. A nice play made there by Gabby Rotherman as she bags. The 19th goal of the game for Regis. Clock will continue to drip down as Regis has a firm grip on this one. Rothermond able to bag her third point. That's just her first first goal, excuse me, today. I'll see if an assist is marked, not yet. Bunker back at the faceoff dot against Sydney Ann Moeller. Three minutes left in this contest. If I had to put my life on the line for draw controls, I would want Megan Bunker as she has single-handedly given her team so many possessions today. Regis Jr. has started in all eight games now for Regis University. Working in close, Rotherman throws it backhand. Kept in play, however, by Getch. That one wide of the net. Going to the top here for Springman. Springman patrolling. Now we'll make a decision. Going to net. Going to have a shot spiked low. See who gets the credit. It'll be the Mountain Lions as Cossack chases it down. Two minutes to go. Cossack trying to run through a Ranger. A little bit of frustration. 
as Ferguson comes up a little bit shaky. Nothing doing, however, she'll be just fine. Kostic a little bit frustrated, tried to go right through the chest of Ferguson. And the Rangers can pretty much let it drip down. They decide not to. Tanella and Ross battling. Now it'll go around for Springman. Springman going to have a shot save made by McGriff. It'll be Ackerman trying to clear it for the team in white. Dumps it off for Patrick. Patrick looking for that double hat trick in this one. Now dumps it off, finds Fannin, goes high, save made. A couple of mountain lions battling against a lone ranger. And it'll be eventually in the cross of Ross. Ross working against Tanella. Spins, goes to her right. Going to have a shot here. Drips out of the cross, and it'll be a free position attempt for Ross. You'll have to take this one quickly with 30 seconds on the clock. Ross against Myatt. Ross going to shoot. Finds the back of the net. Throws the cross down as goals have been difficult to come by but this game will expire mount lions able to get one back at the end but regis university rangers with a dominant win to open our mac conference play some final stats from this one as regis escapes with their seventh win of the season 19 goals on 39 shots, nine saves made in net by Myatt. 16 of 17 on the clear attempts. They picked up 32 ground balls. For the Mount Lions, they had nine goals on 20 shots. 11 saves from McGriff. She had a long day between the sticks. 24 ground balls and 15 of 21 on those clear attempts as Regis picks up a seventh win. The Mountain Lions drop to two and four, 0 and one in conference play. Next up for the Mountain Lions, they will stay right at home for two more games, March 28th and 30th. It'll be Fort Lewis, then CSU Pueblo. Regis will head back to their home fort to face off with CSU Pueblo on the 27th and Fort Lewis College on the 30th. For myself, Brian Geenan, our entire crew here at Mountain Lion Stadium, we thank you so much for joining us for this afternoon of women's lacrosse. Mountain Lions drop one at home as number 10 team in the country comes up big here at Mountain Lion Stadium. Once again, thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time. Roll the credits.